Does your pump have IOB? Insulin on board. Come again? Insulin on board. It is How an insulin, insulin pump. It does have insulin. Oh. Does it tell you though? Because that's like really important to me. Oh yeah, of course. 171.5 units. Units left? It's on the main screen? No, no, it's not on board. Is like how much insulin is still Active working insulin! In your yeah! <laughs> See, it's lingo. They try and switch it up, right? Yeah. So it does. does yeah. It, it calculates that when you're calculating the bullets, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. Can you just look at it if you want to, though? Like, I can go to my screen, and go to status, and it'll say, like, at the top. Can you I just have to do it? some finagling with buttons. Like, I have to pretend I'm going to give a bolus. You have to pretend a bolus. And then, yeah, I have to pretend a bolus, and then when it shows me how it's correct, how it's uh, calculating with a correction and uh. food, then I can see active insulin. But it's kind of tricky, because if I don't enter, if I'm entering that I'm e eating zero uh, grams of carb, mm -hmm. it will tell me no active insulin. Really? But I have to enter that I'm eating at least one gram of carb. One for gram. It's, it's, it's weird. One gram of carb. I don't understand that at all. It's kind of a drawback, Yeah, actually. that's kind of... That'd be annoying. You can actually just go in the menu online and look at it. That's really handy. And on the Vibe, I heard that it just pops up, like, right... First thing you see is IOB, which is cool. What's your... And then you can also change your active insulin uh, time, right? Yeah. I think mine's, like, a couple hours. Mine's, like, two and a half hours, I think. So, obviously, they both have bolus calculators where it'll, like... You can put in your carbs and your blood sugar and it'll subtract IOB. And obviously yours has that too. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, question for you. Does the Medtronic have a built-in database of like different carbs of different foods? A database? A database! I know that this does. I have never, ever, ever used it. Like you can, you can put in like your favorite foods like, oh, every Thursday I eat my mom's pasta and it's exactly 45 grams for a cup. And you put it in there and then you can select it and it'll know how many carbs it is. I'm not gonna lie to you. It sounds like maybe that could be handy, but if you already know it's 45 grams of carb, I would enter it every time. It's never handy. I've never used it. I just think there's it's so too much, much work. Yeah, and there's so much variability. Like, rarely do I ever eat exactly, I mean, even if I entered it differently, uh, it's so variable what I eat yeah. every day that I'd rather just enter it on the fly rather than- I don't even it. honestly know where to find it. And as far as a database goes, I think the only handy database that I would be able to use is something like you know, a little calorie king book inside my pump that could tell me, you know, gee, I totally forgot how many grams of carb are in half a cup of some rare type of white bean, and then yeah. it could tell me, but... Yeah, they have some, like, pre-programmed, I remember. It might not be on the new pump, though, because I can't even find it. But no, I don't, I think it's one of those extra things that are just like, oh, this would be great for you, so you get it, but it's not really, nobody uses that. Kind of like a color screen. Exactly like a color screen. <laughs> okay, final question. The final countdown, final question. Why did you choose this pump over all the other pumps? The reason I chose Medtronic was because of their Pathway program. Because, um, I don't know what that is. really, I'm interested in the updates in the future. And I'm really interested in CGM, and I have the CGM. I'm interested in all the updates and what's going to come as far as technology in the future. And from what I read and from who I talked to, Medtronic is really on board with. Um, biotech and development and the pathway program basically says that whenever we have any sort of update um, even if you got your new pump yesterday then you can get the new update for I think it's five hundred dollars just a flat fee yeah and to me that's an excellent deal and so I've done that and I uh, got that I think with CGM as well um, and that's that's been really nice plus my other choices at the time were Animus and the Deltec Cosmo um, oh, I remember that. Delta at Cosmo, it was like, all right, you can get a blue or a pink pump, and it can play some some poor quality songs for you. It was weirdly shaped too. It was oddly it was shaped. Like, I don't know. It was big and chunky. Yeah, and... yeah. It was it was kind of strange, and I felt like all the little kids that I was in the I was in the class with uh, the pump education class were kind of going towards the Cosmo because it had those aesthetic features. And then as far as the Animus, it just didn't appeal to me as far as the the technology type stuff in the future. But okay. now it seems like yeah. the field is leveling. But they already have the integrated CGM, which is really nice. So I think it is a little bit ahead of its time. And it's been around forever, which is kind of why I almost got the Mini Med, because I was like, it has this great reputation. But the reason I got the Animus is because it's waterproof, which I mean is good. I don't know, it rains a lot where I live, so that's good. And then also it has really small basal increments. How small? I think we figured this out the other day that yours is bigger. A hundredth of a bigger. unit. I mean, five hundredths of a unit. 0 0.05. Okay, so mine goes to 0 0.025. So it's wow. a little bit smaller, so I felt like it, you could fine tune it better, but I mean, I don't know how much of a difference it really makes. Depends on your insulin sensitivity too, because I, mine are pretty small increments, so I feel like small is better. And then, I didn't get the Omnipod. People ask me this a lot, why don't you have the Omnipod? Isn't wireless always better? And I'm like, well, the pod is 
not huge, but it's pretty big. And that would just drive me crazy as a girl, like, I don't know. So that's why I didn't get that one. Listen, I get this thing hung up on a doorknob maybe, maybe once every other month. All right, it's maybe. rare. You just tuck in your okay. tubing and you're good to go. I tried the Omnipod. I really oh, you did. did. And I even tried this the smaller good. one. Okay. Yeah. And the smaller one. I don't often wear loose clothing. I mean, some. I mean, I wear it that's kind of snug, you know, because I'm a girl. And we just that's our that's our way. Just, it's bulky. It still is bulky. It's yeah. still a bump, you know. And wearing it under anything but this type of loose clothing was just it wasn't working for me. Yeah. And I just and that's I also, I just, even with the sight in the shower, you can't have that full bodily freedom. You, know, you can't scrub wherever you want to scrub without thinking about it. And the same thing with the Omnipod, and I can't tell you how many times during that trial week, probably at least three, that I was like literally scrubbing in the shower and I scrubbed it off. Oh no. And I can't deal with that. It's just big. Yeah. And then also I feel like, what's the point of having a wireless? Because you're going to have to have it with you, you know, to bolus. So I feel like I would lose it. I would leave the PDM or whatever it's called somewhere and I wouldn't be able to bolus and be like, well that's sucks like I'm screwed now so I just like having it with me that reminds me of safety net a huge reason why I choose not to use the Omnipod as well one of the reasons I use the Medtronic is because we have the Sure-T sites which is a metal cannula I'm having I always have huge problems with plastic cannulas because they kink do you have a plastic yeah, cannula I do mine I know that they have the metal ones yeah f for Animus as well I know for T-Slim I don't know about oh okay Animus. they okay. probably have it for all of them but for the Easy Omnipod thing. That was plastic cannula, and the first time I put it in, I know it kinked. And so, I, plus you can't see that it kinked either. Right. So I had no idea I was not getting insulin at the yeah. time. And I like the metal cannula, it's not available. Yeah. That's why we chose it. Also, T-Slim, I've been getting a lot of questions about why I don't have the T-Slim. Honestly, if the T-Slim was going to come out with like, if it was on the cusp of getting the CGM integrated, I would totally go for it, because I think it's really cool. I like it a lot. Is that the Nano? But we're just so close. It's the touchscreen one. But since Animus is so close to integrating, I'm like, I just can't. I can't switch now. I'm too close. It's right there. So yeah. All right, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Please tell Amy how awesome she is in the comments below. Shucks. I just gotta say, it's been really, really cool having a diabetic roommate. Like, I didn't realize how awesome it would be, because now the bar is so The jokes! High. I know, like, you can talk about anything. There's no limits. And the she humor. understands everything, and we share insulin. It's very sweet. So. Don't tell my Amy. I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> yeah, don't. I don't, I don't suggest that, but anyway, it's been really good. So thank you for doing a video with me, and we'll see you guys later. Put that in your pump and prime it. You can put that in your pump and prime it. <laughs> also, like this video. Bye. Beautiful, beautiful. Alrighty. You can put that in your cartridge and prime it. <laughs> <laughs> we should, someone, you should say that. Well, okay. I'm gonna make sure it's still recording, because it ends sometimes. We're good. All right, we're, get, we're getting through these. Sweet. This is very informative. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, where were we? We were at, how waterproof is it? Did we finish that? Yeah. No, we did not finish Oh, that. I dropped it in the bathroom once. Uh, it's 301. Oh, snap. I hear thunder. Sweet. Woohoo.